Don't stop! The moment Jevara Buderi was detained, surrounded by Israeli security forces, even though clearly identified as a journalist. They just came from everywhere, I don't know why, and they kicked me to the wall and uh, uh, where is your ID? I told him, uh, you know me and you know that we are coming and uh, going in many times. Overpowered and cornered, Buderi was handcuffed and dragged away. They brought me to the investigation, a video about just more, less than six seconds, my hand is like this to, the sol to, the, to, to that soldier. Uh, inside, uh, and uh, then they kicked me inside uh, the car in a very bad way. Uh, um, handcuffs. Handcuffs, they were just making like this and like this. Getting them tighter. Tighter uh, inside the car and they were kicking me from everywhere. Buderi and her team were covering a peaceful demonstration organized in solidarity with the families on the threat of forceful eviction in Sheikh Jarrah in occupied East Jerusalem. She had done several live reports already when the security forces started pushing away journalists. She has been accredited with Israel's government press office for many years. She was held and interrogated at the police station, where Buderi says she was treated like a criminal. After seven or eight hours, I don't know how much time, because they took from me everything. They refused to take uh, the cuffs from me. Uh, they said either arrested or 15 days away from Sheikh Jarrah. Because of the video evidence? Yes, yes. We will go to the court because it's our, yeah, because it was a message for all, every, all the journalists. We kicked Al Jazeera, we put it, uh, we, we put now Al Jazeera in our hand, so everybody will be f uh, afraid and nobody will cover. No, we will cover everything. Jevara Buderi is one of the most experienced journalists covering events in Israel and the Palestinian territory. Her arrest is being seen as an effort to intimidate journalists and has drawn global condemnation. This is a clear violation of press freedom because uh, this journalist was clearly recognizable as she was wearing a press vest. And there is a clear will from the Israeli authorities to prevent journalists from uh, doing their job and from reporting on the ground. Throughout her ordeal, Jivara was denied the request to remove her heavy flak jacket. When she came out of the police station, she was visibly shaken but determined to continue her work. The case of Jivara Buderi is not isolated. Palestinian journalists complain that they are systematically harassed, some of them also detained just for carrying out their jobs. But at the